Nvidia, Nvidia, Nvidia. We need to talk. The Linux community is known to kind of hate Nvidia. But why? Well, because of their closed down drivers as well as very poor Linux support in general. But to be fair, there are both sides to this. You know, I do care about transparency, but I also get the other standpoint where you want to protect something that is unique to your product. I mean, let's be real, Nvidia GPUs are far better than AMD when it comes to innovation. Better ray tracing performance, DLSS, their AI upscaling method, Nvidia Reflex and of course NVENC encoding are just some of the aspects that prove why Nvidia is still ahead in market share. AMD does also improve their technologies, but they are always behind and they haven't really brought anything new to the market in quite some time. But that being said, I am not defending Nvidia. When you release a closed down product for a platform that you officially support, then that product should provide the same functionalities as everywhere else. Why? Because you chose the supported platform and you're not giving out any tools or code so that the Linux community can do something about it. Oh wait, actually, that reminds me of something. Nvidia started to publish their GPU kernel modules via a dual GPL MIT open source license. So that's great news, right? Mm, not quite. Yeah, it's great that Nvidia started taking steps into the right direction. But to be honest, these published kernel modules are not really helping. See, for once, those modules are only compatible with Turing and Ampere GPUs, such as the GTX 16, RTX 20 and 30 series, as well as some workstation GPUs. So unfortunately, my GTX 1080 is not supported, which is kind of bad. Yeah, I know it is an older card, but the prices in the past couple of years didn't really push me towards upgrading. But that is not the main problem. There is also another big issue that needs to be resolved. Nvidia has stated back in May that their current kernel driver is not ready to be upstreamed to the Linux kernel, which again leaves us with the Nvidia MISA counterpart Nouveau, which is a reverse engineered open source display driver and it's completely useless for power applications. So Nvidia didn't really change much, since the open source kernel module is not even the same as the closed source module, which is still the default unless you build it yourself or your distro already supports it. So yeah, the Nvidia open source kernel modules didn't really do much in comparison to what AMD or Intel bring to the table. I mean, the MISA driver often performed better than the closed source drivers and unless you need some special feature set for an application, MISA is basically install and go, if it's not already installed by default. MISA also works well with Wayland, a newer display server protocol, which also has better hardware integration and in comparison to the Nvidia driver, also supports hardware acceleration for video decode in browsers. Speaking of, Xorg is still the preferred display driver for Nvidia GPUs, simply because either Wayland or Nvidia themselves don't support all of their features yet. Among them, is also hardware acceleration for videos. Huh? Nvidia says that this is not a Wayland issue, but a driver issue on their part. But it doesn't even work under Xorg when using a browser. It works fine for local files, but no matter what you do, hardware accelerated video decoding in any browser I tested did not work. So yeah, functionality wise, Nvidia really sucks on Linux. But from a user perspective, it's actually not that bad. You know, all of these problems and hate for Nvidia almost sounds like, oh, you have an Nvidia GPU? Then you will have a bad time. But this is not the case at all. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend Wayland on Nvidia yet. But otherwise, from a user perspective, everything seems to work. And I'm not talking about stability in comparison to MISA or their closed down driver. I mean, just the user experience. And now we've reached a point on why I'm making this video. Nvidia GPUs work just fine on Linux. And especially if you're not a gamer or a power user and you don't try to optimize settings, then you are fine. That being said, the problems occur when you try to optimize settings. Let me explain. Check out the Nvidia settings panel on Windows. Looking pretty nice, right? Now look at this. What the heck is that monstrosity? 
Not only are a lot of settings straight up hidden away, often they are completely missing or named differently. The OpenGL tab is the only one that slightly resembles the 3D settings on Windows. But where is the explanation? Alright, I found out that Sync to VBlank is in fact just VSync. But since on Xorg a multi-monitor setup is considered as one screen, if you have different refresh rates, then good luck with this setting. I still have no idea what OpenGL flipping does. I mean I just don't. Every explanation on the internet is either just the same like this, or just guessing as well. Oh boy. There are also some missing settings hidden away in the application profiles, but those look as they were built for developers, not for an end user. So please, NVIDIA, fix the dashboard. That should actually be the number one priority right now. I believe that a lot of issues can be fixed by simply providing a similar desktop experience than on Windows. Many GPU features do exist on Linux. There is just no easy way to adjust them. But to be fair though, this is not only an Nvidia issue. AMD and Intel also don't have good UI applications on Linux. And by that I mean the proprietary driver and not the Mesa counterpart since I don't expect Mesa to provide a GUI, just saying. So Mesa, keep doing your awesome stuff. And AMD, Intel and Nvidia provide a solid user interface for your proprietary drivers. You got that? But for real now, people underestimate the power of these GUI settings. How can you make a fair performance comparison when you cannot match the settings of graphic cards? Maybe a setting in your system is causing some latency, which could be fixed by changing some settings on Windows. No easy way to do so on Linux. And even if you manage to change some settings, who says that those are the exact same ones? So my standpoint right now is that I'm definitely not going with Nvidia anymore unless they really improve their Linux compatibility, provide a solid dashboard and open source their drivers the right way. AMD and heck, probably even Intel Arc are better choices since they utilize the power of the Mesa driver. Intel might actually be a really great choice since it seems that their graphics cards perform really well with Vulkan applications. That is, if they ever release. We'll see. So Nvidia, fix that ugly dashboard and also work, really work on your open source drivers so that they can be upstreamed. Do it. If you've liked this video then make sure to show it with a like and heck, even a sub. Go on, click it. It doesn't cost anything, I promise. I think that you might also enjoy this video right here. And all that's left to say now is, good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are, I'll see you around.